So the One UI 7 update is finally here, but before you go ahead and install it, there's something important you should know. Those green lines that randomly show up on your screen. Yeah, they're real, and they usually appear right after a software update. As you can see in this tweet, some users are reporting a green line issue on their displays after the One UI 7 beta update on the Galaxy S22 and S23 series. Hope Samsung addresses this soon with a fix. You might be thinking, why does that even happen? Well, it turns out that during the update process, your phone can get pretty hot, and when that happens, the tiny flex cables inside, which connect your display to the motherboard, can get damaged. Once those cables take a hit, you start seeing lines on your screen. It's even worse if you're charging your phone during the update. High temperatures during this process can really push the device to its limits, and that's when the damage usually occurs. But don't worry, there are a few simple things you can do to avoid this whole situation. First, make sure your phone has enough battery before starting the update, so you'll need to keep it on the charger. Also, avoid updating while the phone is plugged in, and if you've just taken it off the charger, give it a few minutes to cool down. Whether it's due to heat or even physical pressure on the phone, if those internal cables are affected, the display starts showing those annoying lines. Have you updated to One UI 7 on your Galaxy S24 yet? Let me know in the comments. If you're using a Galaxy A55, we've got some fresh and exciting news. Samsung has officially expanded its One UI 7.0 beta program, and it's now available in India, following its initial launch in South Korea just last week. The tip comes from reliable leaker Tarun Vats, who shared that the One UI 7 beta update for the Galaxy A55 in India carries the firmware version of 556 EXXU7ZWD1. If you're in India and want to get early access to One UI 7 features, all you have to do is join the beta through the Samsung Members app. There's a good chance it'll soon roll out to more countries like the UK and parts of Europe as well. Now to install the beta update, it's super easy. Just go to settings greater than software update greater than download and install. But before you hit that install button, make sure to back up your important data. As with all beta software, things can be a bit buggy or unstable. So if your Galaxy A55 is your daily driver, you might want to wait for the official stable release. One interesting note here, the beta update is limited to Wi-Fi downloads only. That means you won't be able to download the firmware using your mobile data. This might be a new policy from Samsung that applies to all future beta rollouts. Now as for the stable One UI 7 release, Samsung hasn't confirmed a date for the A55 just yet. However, the update is already available for some of their flagship devices like the Galaxy S24, Z Fold 6, and Z Flip 6, at least in Korea. At the moment, if you want to experience One UI 7 on a mid-range device, your options are pretty limited. You either enroll in the beta for the Galaxy A55, or you can pick up one of the newer models like the Galaxy A26, A36, or A56, which come with stable One UI 7 right out of the box. So, are you going to try out the One UI 7 beta on your A55, or are you holding out for the final version? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, 